Hey everyone, it's Xiao. Thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome if you guys are new here. Today's video is going to be another product review and it is going to be on the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. This is in the shade Light Medium. I do have dry and dehydrated skin. So if you guys would like to see how this product wears on my skin and a review, then definitely keep on watching. So just a little bit more about the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. It retails for $5.99 and you get 0.91 fluid ounces. It comes in 12 shades. And just to read off some of the claims about it it says it's supposed to provide buildable sheer to medium coverage it is a semi matte finish for all skin types and it's supposed to be silky smooth and a non greasy application and it is also oil free and hydrating with hyaluronic acid and squalene this is also cruelty free fragrance free paraben free and vegan so on the directions on the website it says to apply to primed skin and blend with fingers before using any other preferred blending tools so in this video I will be applying this this tinted moisturizer with my hand on my left side of the face and then using a sponge on my right side so you guys can really see the difference all right let's just go ahead and get right into it i'm gonna first swatch this on my cheek and then we'll do an oxidation test which means i'm gonna let it sit on my face for about five minutes and then i will swatch a fresh swatch right next to it to see if this product darkens over time so this left one here was applied about five minutes ago and then this one here I just freshly swatched. I'm not surprised that it did not darken just because it is a tinted moisturizer and I feel like with tinted moisturizers and BB and CC creams, they usually do not darken over time. So I would say this tinted moisturizer definitely passes the oxidation test. All right, so before I apply this tinted moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with my primer per usual. For primer, I'm going to be using first my Tatcha Silk Canvas around my nose where I have some pores. And then I'll be going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer Primer and Moisturizer in one all over my face. And then lastly, just to make sure I'm really primed, I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Primerizer Water. So I am nice and primed now. My face is really hydrated. So going in with the tinted moisturizer, I'm gonna do just using my hands on my left side and then using my sponge on my right side so this is what the product looks like coming out of its packaging it is a little bit on the runny side I wouldn't say it's super super runny but that is to be noted the consistency of this it's really I wouldn't say it's super thick or moussey it's kind of like a moisturizer it's really thin and it spreads out really nicely you can see it covered up my redness really nice. You can still see some of my um, acne scars and some of my freckles. I'm not really used to using my hands, so it feels kind of weird. So I was um, looking at other reviews of this tinted moisturizer and it's supposed to actually dry down to like a semi matte so being dry and dehydrated I was kind of afraid of that but a lot of people with dry skin really rave about this product so we'll see how it works out. I did also swatch it on my hand right when I bought it and it did dry down to a pretty semi matte so got me a little bit worried but we'll see what it looks like. So initially when it goes on, it looks really dewy, very radiant, but we'll see what it looks like once it starts to dry down just a little bit. But I love the way this applies. It just spreads really easily. It's not super thick and it doesn't dry down really fast so you can really work with it. So this is what it looks like with one layer applied using my hand. I think it provides a really beautiful and natural light um, coverage. You can still see I have some spots around my cheeks and I have a little red spot here. My skin has been a little bit irritated and I think it just evens out my skin really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side using a sponge and see what that looks like. You can see, like I stated, my skin has been kind of irritated. I don't know what is irritating it, but it's been kind of itchy. So it still blends out really nicely with the blender. I was afraid that the beauty blender might soak in a lot of the product, but it still gives like a really nice light um, coverage to it.
All right, so this is what this side looks like using a sponge. You can see it covered up the redness just a little bit and some of my um, spots around my cheeks. Again, it's just a really beautiful light coverage. It went on just fine using a sponge, so I think either way I could use either my hand or the sponge. Um, the finish still looks very radiant as, as you guys can see here, very glowy. I'm going to try to go in with a second layer with the sponge and my hand and see what that looks like. So I have two layers on now. I just want to look up close on my skin. Definitely the side where I used my hand. I didn't blend it out well enough. So it looks just a little bit streaky. So I'm just going to blend it out with my sponge um, slightly. I think I definitely would prefer the sponge just because I don't really like using my hands to fully blend in a foundation or tinted moisturizer. I can also tell that it's starting to mattify. I'm seeing less of a glow. Um, there is like a slight glow. It's very like skin-like, but it's definitely more semi-matte. This side with the sponge still looks pretty glowy, but I think that's just because I applied this side last. So I'm gonna let this side dry down a little bit more and then I'll show you guys up close what it's starting to look like on my skin. Alright, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup on my face and when I was in the bathroom washing my hands, I was looking at my skin in the mirror and I really liked the way my skin looked. Like I stated, this did give me a nice semi-matte finish just like it claims and honestly, I usually don't reach for semi-matte or matte products again since I do have dry and dehydrated skin. But the formula in this, I don't know what it is, but my skin still feels so hydrated. It does not feel tight or restricted. I can still move my face freely and I don't feel like my skin is like asking and begging for water and moisture. So it could be the hyaluronic acid or the squalene in this product. However, when I look on the ingredient list, hyaluronic acid and squalene are at the very end of the ingredient list, but honestly, does matter to me it still sits on my skin really well on my skin i was able to get it to a nice light coverage i wouldn't say i got to medium honestly i didn't try to get to medium but i think you definitely could build this up if you really wanted to you just would have to let each layer dry down and i think that's what i didn't really do in this video i do agree that this does not have a scent there's no floral scent or anything like that however i did initially noticed um a smell of like kind of paint a paint smell um i know wet and wild does have another foundation that smells very similar it's just kind of like it's hard to explain but it's not it's not unscented but initially i did smell that paint smell but it definitely goes away i just wanted to mention that and on my skin it sits really nicely i'm just going to look up close again like i said a very beautiful semi-matte finish but it's not drying it creased a little bit around my nose but that's kind of with every product but honestly it's like very 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 minimal if you're looking for a product that is like slightly dewy or natural skin like finish this is not it it is definitely a semi matte finish i really don't see a glow anywhere i didn't um put any uh highlighter on or anything like that but it's sitting on my skin so well i can move my face and it doesn't feel restricted or anything like that so my overall thoughts is that i do really like this product i think this would be really nice especially on my skin in the summertime too um, because in the summer my dry skin can be a little bit more normal and i do think this would be perfect for anyone with oily skin as well since it is semi-matte and it is oil free also anyone with dry or dehydrated skin i do recommend it as well because even though it's semi-matte it is still really hydrating however if you don't like semi-matte products then you definitely won't like this all right so i think that's pretty much everything i wanted to mention about this product i hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys also have dry 
dry and dehydrated skin or if you don't and you like my videos make sure to subscribe and like this video other than that thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next time bye guys